The way he did it was he, he actually uh, worked on unanesthetized, critics did experiments on unanesthetized slave women. And he reasoned that slave women were able to bear great pain, meaning we don't need any anesthesia, because their race made them more durable and thus they were well suited for painful medical experimentation. We didn't even, you know, because we didn't feel like other women could feel. This man would cut into women, cut into them, and just said, well, since they're black, they don't really feel it. Unbelievable. Because not only did he experiment on women, he also experimented on infants. He would stick that into the heads of brand new infants in an effort to realign their skulls based on the indecency and intellectual flaws of their parents to treat the malady. Of course, it was a 100% death rate. But that's what he would stick in the head of a baby at birth. So these are things that are so horrific that you, you, you can't possibly wrap your head around it. If I stomped a puppy to death out here, up here, just a little puppy, and stomped it right here to death in front of you, most of you would need therapy. And I would be arrested probably faster than killing a black man for killing a puppy. Do you realize how much dissonance you have to remove in order to stick that into the brain of a child? 